I bought this LG ultra wide monitor about a month ago, been using it daily and I love it. So I want to give you my detailed review and I will also show you because this took a little while for me to figure out how to increase or decrease the brightness on this thing super fast which I need to do multiple times a day. I don't know about you. And I will also tell you how to control it on your laptop too, if you have the same setup as me. So here I am down in my temporary office, which is starting to not seem so temporary at this point, but I needed to upgrade my daily work situation and I couldn't wait for the new office. I had to just jump in and go. So I got this LG 34 inch ultra wide monitor. The LG monitor, maybe not as amazing in quality as the Mac, but I wasn't really expecting it for the price because this is a great price now. Check it out on Amazon. I'll include a link below. I've even seen it on sale recently, so it might be a good time to scoop it up. It's insanely easy to put together right out of the box. I enlisted my husband to help, but I actually could have managed this on my own. The stand goes onto the base with a twist, no tools needed. Then the stand simply snaps to the monitor. Now Brad was really efficient doing this part while the monitor was still in the box. And then we put it all on my desk. The back of this monitor is white, which I really like. You know, just thinking in the future one day if I have a desk in the middle of my room, the back of it will be white. You can get it in black too. So you use the toggle switch underneath the logo at the bottom of the screen to power on the monitor. I can do this cool snapping thing where I can just get all my documents lined up neatly together. And I'll show you how you can do that as well. You might notice that I have it really scooched beside my older iMac because I was expecting to have my workflow include both of them. But then I've been so happy using this ultra wide and I have so much real estate on the screen. I don't need my old iMac anymore. I'm moving everything over. The only thing that I don't love is you can see I got a lot of wires here sticking out. I've hardwired the internet into here. I used to be able to hide that nicely behind my desktop and now I'm trying to be extra responsible and I'm using one of these little Samsung SSD drives which I love. They're so fast. So I've got that plugged in and then because I don't want to just use the trackpad I'm also using a mouse. It's actually time for a new one because this guy's pretty beat up and then because that receiver for this mouse is a uh, USB. I've got to have the hub to translate it to USB-C because if you have a new-ish MacBook, you know they don't even have regular USB-A ports anymore. It's all USB-C. And of course, I have the wire going from my MacBook up into the monitor. That's an HDMI and that comes with the monitor. I've been using it hours and hours a day ever since I got it and I love it. And just in case you're thinking, hey Tiffany, not really that big. It is. I'm sitting much closer to the camera than it is. There's at least three feet between us. This is officially a 34 inch monitor, but the actual dimensions are it's about 14 and a half inches tall and 32 ish inches wide. And the base takes up, oh, I would say almost 11 inches on my desk. It's perfect for me. I've got this Ikea sit stand desk. It's the manual crank one, good arm workout. And I do have the stand here hanging over just about, I don't know, half an inch there. So it's really working out for me. And then I'll center it in my desk once I get rid of this guy. I don't need a monitor stand at all. It rests nicely at eye height on my desk here. It's really easy to lift up and down and it's also really easy to tilt, which I love. I was a bit overwhelmed at first, but within a day or two, I adjusted my systems and I love it. Sometimes on the internet, I still find myself looking at things at 90% or 80% instead of full size. Having this much space on a monitor is a luxury. 
one thing I didn't expect when I bought this, but it's a real time saver, is a controller that easily snaps things to a grid. So I use this quite often when I have four documents up at the same time. This is an LG app that you download from their website. The icon is bright red, which is not really my low key aesthetic, but I ended up keeping it because I realized how long I was messing around adjusting the size of different browsers when I'm writing something. You know, I want the written specs on one page, photos on another, more research on another. Downloading this app from the LG website, and again, I'll put a link down below, wasn't the most streamlined process I've ever experienced. There were some permissions. I think I probably didn't do it properly because I was also expecting this app to control the brightness of my screen, which is why I downloaded it in the first place. And somehow that ability never happened. So that sent me off on a quest to find something that could easily control my brightness. All day long, I'm adjusting my brightness. If I'm looking at a web page and most of it's white, I wanna turn it down. If I'm looking at a photo that I'm editing, I want to turn it up. Unfortunately, if you want to control the brightness manually with this LG ultra wide monitor, it's a toggle system. So you start off underneath the little logo there, and then it's, I don't know, three or four steps into the menu system. And you got to hope you don't touch the toggle the wrong way. And it takes so much time. So uh, that wasn't going to work for me. I was used to having brightness keys right on my keyboard. But then I realized, oh my gosh, with Mac, you just go into system settings. Yeah, it's not system preferences anymore. Don't know if you've noticed that threw me for a loop, but you go into settings and you can actually assign your external monitor to be your primary monitor. Voila, just a touch of the brightness buttons that you know and love on your Mac keyboard can control your external monitor brightness. But then, what about this? How do you control your laptop brightness now? For me, I'm just kind of using my laptop as a keyboard these days. I don't even want to look down onto it. I mean, it could be a third screen at this point if you're counting the ultra wide as two screens, but I don't want to see it. So I like to turn it completely off. So it takes two secs to set this up. You just have to go into your system settings. You choose displays and then you go up to a range here and you just have to make sure that your laptop is set up as your extended display. And then you click on your external monitor. In this case, it's our LG ultra wide and we have it as the main display. So that means we can control the brightness for the external monitor at the push of a button, just like we're all used to if we have a Mac laptop. So I love that, but that still doesn't solve the problem of how to quickly control the brightness on the laptop. So I found this app it's called Monitor Control. It's free to download. It was super easy to download. It automatically populated in my top menu bar here with this really low key icon. I didn't have to give any permissions or anything. You click on it and yeah, I can also control my LG ultra wide monitor brightness from here, but I don't because I don't even want to click in. The button is much faster. However, since I don't have that option because there's only one set of brightness buttons on my laptop, I have this slider for color LCD. That color LCD is referring to my laptop and look at this, done. I can turn it completely off if I want to, have it completely bright or somewhere in between. I love it, it's made my ultra wide monitor that much better. I love having a second monitor. I love it so much. I actually brought one of my older monitors to Mexico with me recently when I was working there for months as a digital nomad. So if you're interested in the ultimate desk setup for being a digital nomad, check out this video here. And if you liked this video, got some value out of it, give it a like and consider subscribing. I will see you in the next video.